Today I'm adding a, a light texture to the surface of this uh, Nutcracker uh, hull and turret. I will be using Mr. Surfacer 500 straight from the bottle. Uh, I dispensed a small jar of lacquer thinner to clean the brushes and I'm using the Humbrol stipple brushes from the, their stipple brush set. To start with, I did uh, mix up the um, Mr. Surfacer, and I scraped down the sides, mix it up real good, and I found that leaving the jar open during the process didn't cause any trouble. It didn't get thick or dry out or anything. Uh, so the process went quite, quite smoothly and simply, and actually went pretty quick. Um, it wasn't as messy as I thought it would be, and it, and it went much quicker than I expected it to go. I started out using the smallest brush out of the stipple set and actually brushing the solution onto the, the turret, uh, but I found quickly that it was just as easy and simpler to just dip the brush into the, the solution and stipple it on. Uh, but it was handy using the small brush in the very beginning to go around some of the small little details that were not masked. Uh, then I just cleaned the brush and then went straight to the biggest uh, brush dipping it in the solution and then just stippling it on uh, and I just made sure that I was kind of rotating the brush and 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 getting a smooth um, a smooth layer all over the surface not leaving any thick thick and thin layers uh, I found it worked best to um, work from dry areas and back into the wet and just kind of fading it all together um, I also found it necessary to create a handle for this turret. I just used a small can of testers paint and taped it underneath just to hold it a little easier. But as you can see it goes pretty quick. Uh, the Mr. Surfacer dried uh, quite rapidly as well and when it did it dried nice and thin and, uh, and smooth and it didn't uh, obliterate any of the fine scribing and, and uh, sunken areas that are uh, in, the, in the model itself. So it, it worked out really good. Lacquer thinner cleans the uh, Mr. Surfacer out real, real easily. And uh, here's the turret right after stippling. You can see where it's still a little damp, uh, but it did dry very rapidly. Uh, within 30 minutes or less, it was completely dry. Next, I moved on to the hull, and I did decide to go ahead and tape off a few little extra areas just to make it a little less messy. And again, I used the small stipple brush just to go around a few of the little remaining details. And then just rapidly went right back to the uh, large stippling brush. At, at, or at, over a little time, it did uh, gob up into the brush there as it started to dry on the brush. Uh, but it was just a matter of going into the lacquer thinner, uh, swishing it around, it cleaned it right out. Uh, I did this maybe three or four times over the course of the uh, hull. I'm working from a dry area and spreading and uh, uh, fading back into the pre-textured areas. Uh, by the time I finished the hull, the turret was ready to unmask. Uh, I did go over it with a a piece of 600 grit sandpaper lightly just to just to knock any little imperfections off and, and just the very tips of some of the little texturing areas uh, and then I did the same to the uh, to the hull 
just using 600 grit wet dry sandpaper and I used you know two or three little small pieces uh, the stuff sanded just like uh, talc it just came off just so smoothly but I just I was very careful just to go over it just just lightly very lightly Stippling brushes did occasionally leave a, uh, a hair in the surface, uh, but these hairs popped right off with the sanding. Uh, I mean, it was just, I just went over the model closely just to make sure I got all those little hairs out. And then I took my little pick here and I uh, removed some of the little spots where I put the liquid masking. I uh, used this just to uh, identify some areas that uh, details attached to here and there uh, and of course they just popped right off some of them came off when, while I was just lightly sanding and then the few remaining little areas were just picked off uh, with the pick and then of course the model was unmasked I did find that once I removed the masking, uh, it left a little bit of a ridge in some areas just between the masking and the buildup of the texturing. Uh, so again, I just took the same sandpaper, the 600 grit, and just lightly went over all the little raised detail areas, and it knocked it right off. So just to kind of blend everything back nice and smooth. And here's the. Uh, the final reveal, it's, uh, it came out wonderful. Uh, it's just a very nice light texture. It'll work great uh, with the, uh, a light coat of primer over it and then you know the final weathering in the end I think will just improve. And you can see uh, the shadowed areas there if you look closely. Uh, some of the sunken little lines that are, that are in the, the kit, uh, they still show through. So, the surfaces, it's not actually quite that much buildup. It's, it's came out to a very thin, nice textured surface. And, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, we're gonna, at this point, I'll move on and start adding details to the model prior to priming. And I'll be sure to show that in the uh, next video.